Hey everybody, welcome to the cast. This is Platinum, accompanied by Harblue, bringing you some ESTA invite action. We love anime versus Lost in Translation. Kind of a big match. Um, got some land implications. Both these teams have the ability to go to land. Um, so this could be, you know, a, a determining factor in who goes. Yeah, I mean, it is still, you know, pretty early in the season. Still a lot of TF2 left to be played. But, you know, as we saw last season, a couple seasons before, every match matters. Even though it is only a couple weeks in, it definitely could have land implications. I think a lot of people are expecting uh, Lost in Translation to almost be a lock, but um, we love anime, and a couple other teams definitely have some talent that could knock them out of you know the land seeding. But yeah, this should definitely be a great match. Um, CP Badlands, the staple of TF2, the OG map. I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, and uh, with. Uh, we Love Anime's recent edition of Mangachu, the infamous streamer, finally made it to Invite. Uh, it's uh, kind of made their team a little bit more aggressive and kind of reckless, but it could work against Lost in Translation if they're disorganized. So uh, with that, why don't, we, why don't we jump into the rosters. For We Love Anime, we have Mangachu on Roamer. We've got SS on Pocket, uh, newcomers to Invite, obviously. Um, we've got Jav. And Stradivarius on Scout. We've got When It's Rough, a.k.a. Sparrow, on Medic. And we've got Fracture, the MG Machine, on Demo Man. Um, yeah. um, for that team, I, I think their strength lies in their flank with Mangachu and Jav, at least from playing scrims against them. If they can tighten up and not die unnecessarily, their aggression can really pay off. Um, but it, it'll be interesting to see how how the combo of... Lost in Translation deals with the aggression from uh, We Love Anime's flank. But, uh, Harb, why don't you give a rundown of Lost in Translation? All right. And then, yep, on Lost in Translation, we have Alpha on Medic, who uh, has basically played almost every class in Invite now, I think. And finally taking up the Medigun. We have Decimate and... Uh, who is that other side? Sesco? Yeah. Sesco, Decimate yeah. and Sesco on Scout. Uh, is it Sesco's first time in Invite? No, I think he played on Rick's team last season. So they're a pretty good scout combo. And then Smacka on Pocket, Mela on Romer, and then Badonski, the Pug Star on Demo, who uh, has actually been pretty good so far this season. He'd know, I know him some play scout a lot in Pugs, but he's decided to play Demo this season. He's been doing a pretty good job. Yes. And uh, the same way with uh, We Love Anime, I think the pretty strong part about Lost in Translation is their flank, Mela is a pretty beast roamer. Um, I'm going to be really looking forward to seeing the matchup between Mangachu and him, seeing who comes up with uh, trickier plays and who just, you know, gets the big med picks. I think it should be a really good matchup. Yeah, it's going to be interesting. I think, I mean, in raw DM sake, I would probably give it to Mela with the, with a slight edge, but Mangachu seems to be a little bit more creative and, you know, he just, it doesn't seem like he really cares what anybody thinks. So he's just going to do whatever he can to disrupt the other team. So it's going to be interesting. Mela kind of ha has a tendency to tunnel vision on a certain goal or objective or target or whatever, which makes him not as impactful as Mangachu. But I guess that's why we play the game, and we'll, we'll see what happens. Um, I'd have to give the edge on the combo play to smack on Alpha just by sheer experience. But uh, SS and Sparrow, I mean, Sparrow with his, his calls and his leadership could turn the tide if he can out, you know, out combo Smacka and Alpha, so it's going to be interesting. But I think it'll really be down to the flanks uh, between Jav, Mangachu, and Mela, and I want to say Sesco is on their their flank scout. Yeah, definitely. I think uh, Sparrow and SS have a bit more chemistry. I think they've been together on our team much longer than Alpha and uh, Smacka. But you know, Alpha and Smacka definitely have the invite experience mm -hmm. and uh, just the overall experience. That should definitely help turn the tide a little bit in their favor. But it should definitely be a very close matchup between almost player-by-player player basis. Uh, yeah. I mean, I know, again, like I said, Lost in Translation, I think a lot of people are predicting them to be a bit of a favorite this match. I think some people are even expecting it to be a role, but I definitely wouldn't count uh, We Love Anime out, even though their team name is really annoying to say. So who would you give the edge in the demo battle between Fracture and Badonski? <laughs> It depends. Uh, straight up, I think they're pretty even, but I've seen from playing against Fracture, sometimes his emotions can get the best of him. 
And when he does get frustrated, he starts just making a lot of dumb mistakes and just playing a really weird style that's not effective at all. So mm -hmm. if I think if uh, Lost in Translation goes up early and they start getting through their heads a little bit, then it might, Badonski might be his chance to roll through them. Okay, so basically look for, I guess look for uh, Mangachu to make the demo's life a living hell. And uh, whoever gets frustrated early could could crumble under the pressure between both, you know, newcomer demos. Um, predictions. I'm going to go... Uh, I mean, I I want to vote against him, but I think Lost in Translations has got too much invite experience with Smack. I don't think Smacka can get rattled nearly as much as uh, uh, We Love Anime is going to... So I'm, I'm going to have to give it to them 5-3, Lost in Translation. <laughs> I think I'm going to go a bit with the upset here. From playing against We Love Anime, they play a really unconventional style. Um, playing Medic against them, I basically had never a free chance to just relax. There was always constant scout or roamer pressure on me. And I think, um, again, having kind of a new combo with Smack and Alpha, you know, not much chemistry together, I feel like Alpha's going to go down a lot to, uh, you know, some sneaky scout flanks and Mangachu's bombs. I think that's going to turn the fight in their favor. I think uh, We Love Anime is going to take it 5-4, but I expect it to be a extremely close game. Yeah, I expect it to be really hectic and a lot of mistakes to be made, but a good learning experience for both teams. So I guess the players to watch from We, Love's, we Love Anime is, I'm going to have to say, Mangachu and Jav. And from Lost in Translation, I, I really want to see how Smacka and Alpha handle, handle that pressure from the flank from We Love's Anime. Yeah, I will say I'm expecting to see some huge crossbow plays this game with a recent crossbow buff. I've been having a hell of a time with it, and I hope to see both the medics also gain some clutch arrows to heal their teammates or to get kills. Either way, it's a, it's a really fun weapon to use now, and with the buff, it makes it amazing. Yeah, I mean, uh, it's it's always better when you get the medics involved in every, every aspect of the game. I mean, they can kind of go by the wayside. You know, you, you might not see a, a fantastic medic really shine. I mean, if... If your team's rolling, it could be because of the medic, but it might not be, and you'd, you would have no idea looking from the outside in. So if we could see some clutch crossbow plays, Ubersaws, that kind of stuff, it's always better for, for our entertainment and for, you know, for the medic's entertainment, too. So um, yeah, I think yeah. we're going live here in a second. <laughs> it looks like they're both trying to pick sides. I don't know if uh, they can figure out. <laughs> they're still waiting for it. I don't know if it's the It clients. has to be the captain. Yeah, I don't does know. It. Uh, okay, they're trying to pick sides. Eventually, you might get it. Pretty sure it's Alpha that needs to say it. Or the server is broken or something. Uh, hopefully not that. Well, it looks like the game started in from from looking uh, at the new server. Okay, okay they so got it. it. See, Alpha, <laughs> it's the captain. I told you. Okay. So we are going live here. Big match implications. Lost in Translation versus We Love Anime. The first mid. Who are you watching? I gotta watch the rumors. I'm watching Mangachu. His first invite debut. His first mid an invite. Let's see if he can go big on. All right. So we got the roll, and I'm gonna watch Mangachu as well. So I'm not even gonna be looking at this demo fight because honestly, I don't think it's gonna matter too much. Uh, it's it's gonna be if Mangachu gets one or two kills. I see We Love Anime taking this first mid. The Mangachu got, jumping up early. Bomb on top, missing three rockets in a row, jumping back down into the valley, putting some pressure down lower. No kills as of yet. This is a really weird middle. It's going to come down to who makes the first move now. Mangachu jumps up, gets the first kill on Mela. Uh, so it's five five up, five up for each team. Mangachu's going for the huge flank behind into the, the other team's house, but Lost in Translation almost has this point capped, and if they get it capped, they're going to be able to take Spire. They yeah, they ended up the cap. getting mid there. That was a really <laughs> slow mid. And we have a couple more picks. Uh, three players on We Love Anime down to force the fall back into bottom lobby. We'll, they have Uber to defend Spire, but it looks like they're trying to move around to a bad position to defend it some. Um, but Lost in Translation set up, and they're actually pushing the bottom lobby Yeah, they behind. have four, four people from Lost in Translation pushing in with Uber onto the bad. Smack with a huge flank and gets a scout. They're pushing the last. <laughs> oh, oh, first. That? First round goes to Lost in Translation. Wow, that was quick. Yeah, we love anime. They looked a little lost there. They were trying to get in position to defend Spire, but they, the whole They time... looked a little lost in transition <laughs> is what happened there. And they just, oh my they just, gosh. That's <laughs> they so happened. bad. It just happened. Okay, I'm taking the first one. I'm going to watch the demos right now. 
so the first sticky gets traded. Uh, Fracture getting really aggressive. Gonna go down early here. That was a mistake. He ran into two scouts. But now the counter bomb coming from the soldiers of We Love Anime and Lost in Translation Decimate just going for that trash damage and picking up two kills right off the bat. Three go down for We Love Anime, and their mids are not looking strong right now. Fracture going down really early. That mid really hurt them. Yeah, they're getting some good damage out on Lost in Translation, but with their demo going down, and they have no one else to finish up on them, so, you know, they're just getting forced out. And this time they're not even trying to get a Spire defense up. And uh, Lost in Translation does have a 20% Uber advantage. They might, uh, looks like they're slowing down a bit here. So we should just see an Uber versus Uber last defense here. Yeah, and I do like the defensive cho the class choices by uh, We Love Anime with the Pyro and the Heavy. And they should be able to defend this unless there comes a really sweet Uber from Smack uh, in a head-on push. Um, but right now it looks, yeah, it, lo it looks like everyone's just going to be stalemating. Maybe Mangachu's going to come back as Sniper or Spy. Oh no, just kidding. He's on last. Yeah, I would like Who's to the see... playmaker for Lost in Translation? Would it be Melee going Mela. Sniper? Yeah, Melee. I think that's the only thing that they can really do. This man or Melee both good snipers. I'd like to but see one of them suicide and actually switch Mangachu the sniper. Has, Mangachu has been known to go Spy, you know, holding his defense too. It's, I mean... Spy only works if the other team doesn't expect him. That's sometimes you don't expect he, it. He so. does it in scrims. I can't expect to see him do it in the match right now, especially down 1-0. Yeah. We're probably just going to try and get a standard defense up here. So, uh, yeah, Melez keeps peeking bottom right. He's trying to catch out a scout or demo peeked up too far. And uh, nothing happening yet, though. I expect to see someone uh, suicide in from Lost in Translation. Uh, Smack is trying to spam point. It looks like they're trying to clear point a bit here. Yeah, Maybe Decimate, Decimate looks like it. he's getting ready to go bottom right. He's, he's looking like he's rearing ready to go for that cap. But Melez goes down, so it's going to prevent that from happening. So I'm guessing Melez is going to come back as either Heavy or Sniper and try and get a pick. Which, you know, it's... It's oh, Ma Mangachu goes down, which could prompt a push, but it would be a mistake for Lost in Translation to push into this, you know, heavy pyro. Smack looks like he wants to go in lower. He's, they're getting ready yep. to go in. Yeah, this they're is, in this is going to be a mistake. This Uber is going to get completely negated. That was a really bad pop from from Sparrow for no reason. He had no pressure on him. They could have easily held that Uber and pushed out to second point, but instead, it's, now it's a reset. With Mela coming back as soldier, uh, doesn't look like much is going to happen until they rebuild this Uber. Yeah, I would like to actually see a non-Uber push um, from Lost in Translation here. Although, Pocket goes down, so that's definitely going to shut that down. Yeah, SS is looking to pre pressure yeah. up. He gets a good damage on the Medic, but he's going to end up falling back. Oh, he's pushing up. He just took a lot of damage from the demo, and he's going to end up going down. So it was, a, it was a good job by Sparrow staying back and not committing with his Pocket there. Um, I like the play from SS, you know, trying to make something happen. Lost in Translation is not going to push in into there, so it was a good attempt. If he didn't get so unlucky with that sticky damage on him, he could he could have got the medic or the demo, and then that would have prompted a push. But we uh, we reset again and wait for something to happen. I, I would love to see it if Lost in Translation just did a push from bottom, and then once Eva runs out, if Alpha just fell back main and just spammed crossbows down it. It's such a it's such a lethal weapon now, especially um, from that far. You'll get about 100 heals that. It's it's a pretty effective push for last, but it looks like they're just gonna do some standard push here. Again, they might try and wait for a pick, just outspam them. Mangachu is actually making a play in lobby. He's gonna te no, he's he's gonna jump back to last. That was smart. He got caught in lobby by Mela, and he he was gonna get behind the medic, but it was a smart decision to get back and not give Lost in Translation the pick they needed to push. So that's something I like to see, you know, Romer trying to make a play, but smartly knowing when he's beat and getting back and not not hurting his team. So that was actually a very smart play yeah. by Mangachu. I think if they were tied or they were up, then Mangachu would definitely go for it. But being down 1-0, you don't want to go down 5 versus 6 on the last defense. It looks, looks like, like Solar's jumping in, in, goes right on top of the medic, hits a couple shots, but doesn't take him far he's enough down. Mangachu no ends up going yet. down. So I like the play for Mangachu. Mangachu did not even wait for Mela to go down before he tried to make a play because he knew he was just a sacrifice and not an, not prompting a push. So Mangachu playing very smart, surprisingly, you know, he, he he goes for a lot of what you would consider dumb plays, but you know they're only dumb plays if they don't work. They're they're great plays if they do work. So right there, a smart decision by him. Yeah, he's gonna have the, the chat clung you out of it here, Platt, saying smart play by Mangachu, but he definitely. You know, takes more black than he deserves. He... We gotta give credit where credit is due. <laughs> yeah. Ladies and gentlemen.
Romer is one of those classes where, you know, if you watch it, it might look like they have no clue what they're doing, but, you know, most players who are playing it actually do have, you know, something in mind when they're doing it, and normally it's a pretty smart play from most of the invite ones. Mela coming back as heavy here, so at, at best this is going to be a, a positioned on a ground heavy against a top positioned we love anime heavy, so I I don't see this just a, a straight up butting heads push working for Lost in Translation without a pick early. But here goes Smack and pushing in top left with Alpha. Both scouts are coming in too on this Uber. Uh, I think that was a mistake. They're gonna take way too much damage, and Alpha smartly just gets out. Decimate goes down early in this fight, so it looks like We Love Anime is probably gonna be able to hold this unless they make a mistake. Ooh, yeah, Jonsky goes down. So Lonsky. now if three of them go down for Lost in Translation, Alpha needs to get the hell out of there, and that he does leaves his heavy to die. Uh, which is fine. Um, but Alpha gets out with Smacka. Smacka might be able to do a decent job defending this if he t attacks it, but I think he's just going to back up and build Uber and continue Yeah, this should point. be an easy spot or easy spirey take for uh, We Love Anime. And Mela might miss forward spawn. He does. Uh, I would actually like to see uh, We Love Anime continue pressuring out the mid here, but it looks like they can tend to just slow it down here in yard and um, build Uber. And that's a smart decision because if they just decided to push, Lost in Translation would have the Uber by the time Mela got back and they would have collapsed on them before We Love Anime got Uber. So smart decision to get the Uber, reset. They just did it on last so they can hold out, have some patience, get another you know, fail push by Lost in Translation and push them back to mid. Mangachu hiding over on the flank, getting ready to, you know, he, he's showing it as open so he can try and get a pick on a scout, but Mela's in here doing huge jumps to get behind, and Fracture goes down to Smacka. Uh, that's, a, that's a huge loss for We Love Anime with no demo. Um, if they collapse well, like Lost in Translation does, they could easily take this fire. Yeah, Mela's actually behind in bottom lobby for the red team, so he's going to be causing some damage from behind. Uh, yeah. He's flanking on bats right now. Why, he's waiting for his team to commit in before he jumps, and yeah, he's just sitting back there now, fighting a scout behind. And actually, uh, we love Emmy's bringing both scouts back to try and fight him. Yeah, Mela ends up taking down the scout and then goes down, but Badonski, Alpha, and Smacka all out fighting on bridge. Decimate just cleaning up damage. I mean, getting kills. That's what happens when you lose your demo. That you just get spammed out slowly but surely, and that's what happened to We Love Anime. Another mistake by Fracture. It seems like, you know, it's it's a stalemate, stalemate, stalemate. Fracture makes a mistake, and then Smacka punishes him for it. So, uh, let's see if he can roll this into last, because they have 50% Uber advantage, and Smacka needs to know that and get in here. Yeah, I hope Smacka would know that. Again, he's played this game long enough where he should sense that they have admitted. And he yeah, knows, so he's he's going in right now, so we're going to look to see a good Uber out of Smacka, with Decimate following right behind him. Trying to get on the pyro, not doing much. Clearing the stickies. Alpha suicides. That was a terrible decision, but it works out because Decimate followed in right after the stickies got deaded and ends up capping. It was very lucky and should not have worked, but you know, credit to Decimate for having the having the game sense to try and go for that play. Yeah, four of uh, Wheel of Anime fell back in the spawn. I guess Alpha noticed and decided to sacrifice so one of his scouts could go for the cap there. So I'm watching Fracture level. on this mid. Gets good damage on Badonski early, but now he's just spamming blind over the train. Pushing through closets is Fracture, putting stickies down on nothing. It's, it seems like he's not aiming, he's just spamming zones. Um, he hasn't really done too much damage. Mangachu gets down early, so look for Melee to come in here at the end of this fight and do some damage. But weird mid fight again with only one person dead so far. Yeah, Badonski's been like 20 HP this whole mid, but he's still stuck back in a choke. He's just causing havoc from behind. He, no one finished him off, and that's gonna end up winning uh, Lost in Translation the mid. But Donsku is at a 20 HP, forced out of mid. He went into their house, and then somehow stayed alive the whole time without getting healed. Mangachu coming. He already got onto the medic right here. He goes for the air shot and misses it on Alpha, trying to make him pop out. I mean, it was a good attempt. He got in position really well from the respawn to try and make him pop, but. Just too little too late, and now Lost in Translation is going to be pushing in with full Uber advantage and a man advantage too, so they, they really should win this push and go up 3-0. They're leading it with a scout to try and take care of this Pyro up top left, so let's see if this Pyro goes down early. It doesn't look like that's going to happen, so Lost in Translation might be able to hold this. The Medic for Wheel of Anime goes down, so e even if they don't win this push... Oh, that, that is yeah, over. That, okay, so this should be 3-0 Lost in Translation, unless the Heavy clutches it. No! Lost in Translation up 3-0. So, so far, my prediction could still come true, but... Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, 
It's That's really one coming down. Right now. It's coming down the mids a lot. They're trying to play. Uh, we love anime. They're trying to play this really slow mid. They're letting Lost in Translation take a lot of point control. As you saw, they almost capped it again before the mid fight was even over. I would really like to see if they went in more aggressive with their scouts and soldiers and just, you know, bombed into the other team. Because right now, the slow mids are not working out at all for them. Yeah, it seems like we love anime are not on the same page. It seems like Mangachu is going in early, creating a distraction, but he's not getting the follow-up that he needs from his demo and scouts. Um... Uh, just from watching Fracture the first or that last mid, um, he didn't do much damage. I mean, he had like one sticky on the demo and wasted his stickies and rollers just aiming at. I, maybe somebody was calling where their position was, but I like to see him take an active aiming approach to doing some damage on middles. Um, uh, yeah, it's just it's just all lost in translation right now. Decimate and uh, Decimate and Sesco just you know cleaning up better than the scouts of. We live anime, so. Well, yeah, I noticed that last mid, Jab was in his own team's value almost the whole mid. If they just had, would have had one scout get into the other team's choke, they could have cleaned up on that weak demo, and then they could have won the mid from that. But, yeah, the scouts from We Live Anime really need to take a lot more point control. They're just playing way too passive, and they're not following up on any of the damage that their soldiers or demo creates. That's really what it's coming down to. But, I mean, besides that, we saw a couple back and forth fights in Yard. Uh, it looks like, you know, after the mid-fight, if We Love Anime is able to ever win one, take a couple rounds. Yeah, they just need to... Fracture needs to start playing a little bit safer, not getting picked in those transition plays, and putting out some more damage on mids. Like, he, he, he you know, he's playing it like he's got unlimited ammo and unlimited time, but, you know, he's got to do that damage early in the fight so that the scouts have something to move on. So, again, I'm going to watch Fracture for this mid and see if he changes anything up from halftime, and uh, maybe We Love Anime can get their first mid one of the game. We are live. Second half. Fracture screwed up his demo rollout really badly. I guess he knows the spotlight's on him. He's jumping to balcony right now. No, he's not. He's going to house. Very slow, so maybe this will be maybe this will be different for him. Takes the first sticky from Badomski, puts another one on him. Does some decent damage to the soldier on point and and to the demo, but Sparrow three, four, four, oh, four down man. for <laughs> We Love Anime, all in the same three seconds. Smacka ends up going down. And they get the medic this the Mangachu ends up saving his team the round potentially with two kill. Um, but man, like, people are just getting caught out of position all at the same time for We Love Anime. Yeah. <laughs> Barely out the same why is he invisible? Mangachu might have a, a glitch on I don't know, apparently a couple people are seeing him as invisible also. <laughs> I don't know what's going on there. Uh, that would be kind of a reason why Mangachu was able to get a couple picks there. Yeah, uh, I was about to compliment Mangachu, but apparently he's cheating, so <laughs> I can't really do that. So anyway, we have another stalemate in yard. Mangachu's pushing up because with his invisibility cloak in Valley, now he he decides to call it off and uh, just wait for the Ubers to get built. So right now, we love anime have a 40% Uber advantage on Lost in Translation. So it'll be interesting to see if SS and uh, and the scouts can make something happen with this. We got a bomb in from Mela, just going up behind to pull in the Mackie. 95% for Sparrow, and he's about to get the super. He gets Mega the bomb instantly. Bomb Three it's people bad. dead for Lost in Translation. That's a fourth down, so there's just people behind for Lost in Translation. Decimate trying to do his best distraction impression. Both people behind. They need to get some pressure on the midpoint for We Love Anime and not let these people behind become too much of a distraction, which it looks like they're doing. Mela's getting some cap time. They are doing a great job of delaying this middle point, and we love anime could could be getting flanked on this middle. Yeah, this is they, they really, could be getting pinched. Now it really just bad by the, we love anime. Yeah, the tide tide has turned because now there's two players behind Lost in Translation, and I don't know. I mean, it looks like they're able to get mid, so it's not as bad as it could have been. But Mela and Mega Two are fighting on Spy right now. Mega Two ends up taking down Mela, and uh, now there's just one scout behind in Decimate who. Uh, I think he's still yeah he's still in bottom lobby for blue and Mela sees him now he's or Mega Two he's trying to make it out Valley trying to get back to his team he's still alive behind fighting now scouting Valley and he finally goes down too this is where we love anime should be pushing in here yeah Mela's just respawning right now so Mega Two really needs to go in the flank that's what he's doing right now he's he's trying to take over the flank area and they they should be gets fire for free here lost in translation not in a position to defend this so. Looks like Smack is getting ready to go out with 95% Uber. This could be a mistake. Okay, they're deciding to back up. So, uh, great push from We Love's Anime. 
I don't know why I keep saying we loves anime. It, just, it feels better than we love anime. <laughs> I gotta mention that fight before um, when Lost in Translation tried to push in the second there. I don't think they expected we love anime to have Uber yet. They pushed in when they were only about 70% and ended up almost wiping their whole team and making them fall back to last. So that was a bit of a miscalculation on their part. Uh, I'm not sure if they went tracking it. Yeah, there is a soldier, Mela, who almost got caught out in forward respawn with a, a nice juke dance from Mangachu with his equalizer, but looks like Mela's decided to respawn, so we're we're going to have a 6v5 now because Jab goes down, presumably to go sniper? Yeah, it looks like Mela's trying to sneak out bottom left behind. Actually, the whole team on Wheel of Enemy has fallen out to Spire. Uh, I mean, I guess that's a fine decision. They just want to make sure that nothing gets behind, and they, yeah, Jab does switch to sniper, so... He was just suicide and switch there. Yeah, I like the conservative play because they expected, you know, Mela to make a play after Jab went down. Although Vodonsky does have a trap up in upper lobby now behind the pipes. That's uh since Mela, they all fall out of lobby, they didn't see it. Oh this heavy might go down. Stradivari is going in hot, taking down the heavy on last, so that could prompt the push from no nope, we love anime oh, outside with the sniper. Mela takes down Mangachu, that was so close. Mangachu peaked in the bottom right. Had a nice rocket on Mela upward, but was not able to finish him off. And now uh, we might see a bit of a push here from Lost in Translation. Smack Which, is pushing up bats. I think we love anime. Oh, it gets taken down by Jab with the snipe. That's exactly what they wanted. So now what they need to do is they need to get in, start this fight, and let Jab try and get some headshots down lower main uh, before Smack can get a respawn. So I'd like to see a push right here. Quicker than it's happening right now. They're checking for the trap. is still upper. Oh, they finally take it down. So, yeah. yeah Smack is about to be respawned. But Pyro gets Ubered, totally pushes the Uber away. I don't know what's going to happen. Whoever can collapse better here in upper lobby is going to win this fight. Oh, <laughs> yes, my God. Yeah. Gets lit up. Jesus. Um, there's still a heavy top left for Lost in Translation. Uh, Melee's getting pressured by Mangachu, doing a, a good job. Mangachu takes him down. It's this is three a good push up for right Lost in Translation. It needs to focus heavy, and We Love Anime can take this point. They're all pressuring the point, and we see the first round from We Love Anime. I like yeah, the Mangachu there. was really patient there, bottom right. He was actually hiding above the light until I guess his team called that Melee was weak, and he went in before Melee was able to fall back in the spawn and got the pick on that, and that really helped him win the fight. Okay, so I've got my camera on Badonski. I haven't been giving him much love this game, so I'm going to take him this mid. He's going out, rolling out the window, trying to get that early damage on House, it looks like. But two people from We Love Anime going choke, and Badonski trying to zone him out. Doing some good damage on the scouts and soldier above the train. Uh, Smack ends up going down, taking down Mega Shoes. It's 5v5, Stradivarius, SS. People just dying left and right for We Love Anime on this mid. It's just coming down to shots being hit versus shots not being hit. Ooh, one crossbow. Uh... So, yeah, uh, uh, whatever his name is. Who's when it's rough? I forget. But he ends up hitting a crossbow on a scout. Yeah, and uh, that ends up helping him escape back to last and keep his Uber. That was a pretty clutch one. Uh, Badonski pressuring Spire already with the scout um, taking over. This could be pretty much golden for Lost in Translation. Jab going pyro again. They love the defense and they've had success with it. So maybe we love anime and push it all the way back to Lost in Translation's last. Yeah, time's not really an issue yet. There's still plenty of time in the second half here, so Wheel of Anime is going to be content just to get a nice last defense set up. And Smack it, Smack it pushing it with Uber against Uber, right into a Pyro. Sparrow again pops fairly early for no reason it seems like. Smack it putting good damage on the demo. Going to get the Soldier bottom bottom right, so it's a one for one trade. Uh, I don't think Lost in Translation is going to... Oh, Badonski hits two nasty pipes on Stradivarius taking him down, so Lost in Translation is going to push this. We live in, he's got a gun yeah. though, so it's, that gun's it's rough. That gun's going to be real helpful for the defense. Yeah, the, he's lucky that he's got it up. The demo's pressuring real hard on that gun, not taking it down yet though, so a lot of damage being dealt, no frags happening right now. It's kind of a stalemate, but it's an action packed stalemate. Oh, Fracture making plays up top. Fracture should have taken down the medic, but debt's too early and only hits the scout. Saves the last point though, very luckily for We Love Anime. Yeah, I'd like to see them try and push out now. Actually, Lost in Translation trying to push in. They have yeah, a cap they, have, they got Uber. They have Uber. Well, Sparrow's only got 85% Uber right now. Mela doing lots of damage on the last point. He doesn't take him down, and Lost in Translation gets the cap. Wow. Yeah, it was that, just that again, again was a mistake by Fracture. He made a great play on three players that went in top middle, 
and put three stickies down and dead it on an overbuffed soldier instead of waiting for the team to come back. And he would have killed four people with the sticky trap had he waited one second. And that was the turning point of that fight. So right now we're bringing you potentially to the last middle. Hopefully we love anime can make a comeback. Uh, no kills. Uh, Sesco goes down early, but then two. It's four on four right now. Uh, this is rough. Smack it goes down. Decimate goes down. So it's just Mela and Alpha. Alpha running out. Mangachu in hot pursuit. Can Mangachu make a play to catch up with these rocket jumps? Oh, Alpha goes and he's he's not gonna back spawn. He's gonna wait. But Mangachu's gonna. Just oh, Mega Two's uh, not gonna win. Uh, Alpha uh, just did the glitch. I'm pretty sure that oh, okay. Okay, he just changed because he okay. knew that was illegal. Yeah. So. <laughs> that uh, you're being banned. casted, Alpha. You would have got banned. <laughs> or a round of return at the very least. Yeah, but... Mega Two calling him out on that, knowing that's illegal. So Alpha making a smart play to not get himself banned for the rest of the season and potentially killing another team. So <laughs> good job. So Alpha. we actually have a besides that we actually have a push coming in from Willow Enemy to lower yep. last. They're just taking it right into them. They forced most of the team back into spawn. Somebody needs no a pressure point back. right now. Scout's on the point, so baiting them to the point is good. Fracture's got to do a lot of damage on this. Fracture needs to go to the point right now with the sticky stick down load, and we love anime. Whew. One comeback, so it's four to two. Lost in is still in the lead. If we love anime can take this mid, we got a game on our hands, Harp. Yeah, uh, again, yeah, I'd like to see it. that last minute was great by them. They got, they forced um, Lost Translation to fall back in the house and they just quickly took over point. I'd like to see the same strat. <laughs> right, I'm red there for a second. <laughs> Jav pressuring the lower entrance. Mangachu getting an aggro into Lost in Translation. Right now, jumping on top of the demo's head. Can Mangachu take down the demo? Is yet to be seen. Uh, Jav actually finishes off his damage, so right now it's. Yeah, it's four on four right now. Could go either way. Sparrow goes down, so Alpha really needs to go down. Oh, so I don't want to lose this. Alpha Craters, lucky. Decimate taking down Fracture and Melee getting Stradivarius. So, a uh, really close mid win from Austin Translation. Not as decisive as we've seen thus far, but uh, it's still uh, still Austin Translation's game right now with Melee yeah. pressuring lower lobby, trying to make a play to guarantee his team the win right here. We love animation, definitely. Mangachu fight expire. versus. Mela and Mangachu unluckily okay he ends up Jab ends up finishing him off but the stairs absorbed for Mangachu. They definitely need to repush Spire here. Yeah, uh, I like the decision. In. I like the decision from SS trying to not not play for not to lose, but he's playing to win and go out here and try and make a play to win. If they get back tapped, whatever. Fracture needs to do a lot of damage right here. Stradivarius goes down, two people down, so it ends up not working out and they and get the back tapped, cap. but they, you have to do it. If you're on last, you're eventually gonna lose. So I like the decision. It just seemed that Lost in Translation hit more shots and were a little more organized throughout the, the course of the game. So the victory goes to Lost in Translation. Uh, I mean, Wheel of Anime definitely started to get it together a bit there in the second half. Um, they seem to you know start meshing a bit better as a team, but too little, too late. And yeah, Lost in Translation were just uh, able to keep riding that first half 3-0 to the victory. Yeah, so but, let's get a stat check right here on this match. Uh, we've got Mangachu, uh, top damaging by a lot, putting out a good 300 damage per minute, 17, 16, still not impressive, you know, frag count, but his but damage top is far... damage for the whole server? Yep, wow. for the whole server. <laughs> you know, Mangachu making his debut and invite, and uh, playing well, but just not getting the coordinated, you know, follow-up. Uh, it's, I mean, it's worth noting Stradivarius putting up a meager 150, but I think he was, he was playing NG a lot of the game, 150 damage per minute. Um... But pretty even frags all around for Lost in Translation. Uh, Decimate with 16 at the top and Badonski with 11 at the bottom. Uh, yeah. It's more one-sided for Jav and Mangachu, which you know we said was going to be the playmakers and the people to watch for. We love anime, so the rest of the team just got to get on the same page and they could be a contender. Yeah, I think... Um, I mean, it looks like SS and Fracture had a bit of an issue that game. Um, I think it came down a lot to, you know, the combo play for Wheel of Anime. Just, again, like we said, not as strong, not as much experience as Alpha and Smacka. But, you know, it's got a long season. I think down the road we should see them start to, you know, get a bit more experience against the invite teams. And definitely they're going to shape up to be a pretty good combo, I'd say. A Sparrow actually had some pretty nice escapes that game. I was pretty impressed by his play. Yeah, so do we want to try and get somebody interview in here? Uh... Maybe Smacker or Alpha. Let me let me ask to see if we can get somebody in here for a post game winners interview. Yeah. So uh, 
I mean, Mangachu playing well for this is his first match in invite. He just, yeah. he just got moved up, right? He's, so he finally broke the barrier, the main barrier. He finally got in. All right, so it looks like we're going to be joined by Smacka here in a few. Um, yeah, I mean, I just I would like to see you know more more damage out of Fracture, a little bit more of decisive, you know, I guess decision making from SS and Sparrow. I mean, they they made a decision on that last push out of at a last, you know, it ended up not working out, but I liked that there was a decision and not hesitation and getting lo you know, getting killed in transition. It was it was more of a decisive, hey guys, let's go try and win this thing instead of just sitting back and losing. So I like to see that. I'd like to see more and I'd like to see the whole team be more on the same page. And uh they could they could definitely give Lost in Translation a run for their money later in the season. Yeah, I think with that win it helps um secure Lost in Translation's land spot a little bit. Again, there still is a long season, they still could get knocked out, but it definitely helps their land chances and again we love anime. They did put up a good fight, I think against um, you know, some of the other teams such as Six Cuties, uh, you know, show me the money. They should do a good job against them and uh they're definitely competing with them for the land spot also. For sure. So Hopefully, Smacka can figure out how to get in here so we can talk um, to everybody's favorite bald guy. Bald demo man slash scout slash now Medic pocket. slash <laughs> yeah. pocket. Yep. Again, that, that whole team is just full of players who can play almost any class at invite level. I know Mela is also, I've seen his scout, it's pretty beast. And again, Badonsky, he's played almost everything also, so... When you have that many players that can play that many classes, eventually, uh, you know, they're all going to find one that works from and it's going to mesh together. So, Harb, any shout-outs to any of these viewers? I see Mangachu riling up the chat a little bit. What, what do you guys think in chat about, uh, about the game? Did, you, did it go how you guys were expecting, or what, was it more, you know, one-sided than you thought? I'm going to do one of those, uh, here, type 1... No, no, no. Do <laughs> don't that. do that. No, don't do that. All right, so Defy is claiming that his prediction is right. So congratulations, Defy, to predicting the game correctly. Hey, the cop coming through. I, uh, I continue to keep my streak of incorrect predictions. I think uh, last time I casted was, I think, I am playoffs from a couple seasons ago. And I think I got, like, every single one wrong. So <laughs> glad to see that I still got it. And sorry yeah. to Wheel of Anime for predicting them to win. Yeah, I was off by one round, so I gave them a little more, more credit, which they could they could have had it. Um, but yeah, now we're joined by Pocket Demo Medic Scout Extraordinaire Smacko. How did oh. you think you guys played that game? Um, I guess we did all right. There was some some confusion. Because Sesco is apparently Antonio Banderas as the Nazan XB, so all of his comms were spoken as the Nazan XB. Give us an example. I am the Nazan XB. I am pushing the middle point. <laughs> well, apparently, that was good enough for you guys to dominate most of the mid fights in that game, so. Um, what did you guys I don't even do know that was mids. so effective? I mean, you did one. I want to say. Seven, no, six out of the seven mids decisively. Like, what did you guys do that was working so well? Um, pretty much. I actually hit things on middle, and that helped. It so, does. It does. First, there was one mid. I took like seven rockets and hit nothing. That must have been that but, one mid that you lost. You guys get, know. you guys get a little worried there at all in the second half when they started making a bit of a comeback, or did you guys knew that you know you had it in the bag, you just had to start playing your game and finish it out. I, th I think, honestly, everybody was just having so much fun because everybody was being goofy and mumble that it, it didn't even matter. I mean, nobody was uptight or anything. So they're just having fun. Good. I mean, that's... I'm just, yeah, sorry. Go ahead. I'm just very sad I didn't kill the sentry with my equalizer. <laughs> uh, I think that's what the chat was laughing about. <laughs> I, I must have missed it. But yeah, I saw almost half the chat just like in rollful messages. Well, Alpha yelled at me because he was Ubered, and I was trying to kill somebody <laughs> with my my power stick. So, was there anybody on We Love Anime that stood out to you? You know, not looking at stats, just actually playing the game. Um, not really in that game. I mean, 
everybody else was doing so much that I felt like I didn't really have to do a whole lot except act like a turret standing near Alpha. <laughs> so you got carried, you're saying? Pretty much. Pretty much. That's good. Mail good always to... Mail always does a ton, so I yeah, just let him do really, his thing and then play off it. Yeah, we really enjoyed the watch the fight between Mega Two and Mela, the Roamer battle. It was a really good one to see that game. Yeah, and it seemed like Mangachu came out on top more than more than you know Mela did. So, what do you think about that smack? Are you gonna talk a little smack to to Mela for getting out damaged by Mangachu? No, because Mela out damaged me. Uh, and <laughs> Mangachu out damaged you. Okay, got it. Gotcha. <laughs> so, it's a Roamer's map. You guys have a big match against us coming up tomorrow. How are you feeling about that? If it lasts longer than 10 minutes, I'll be happy. And that's what she said. And with that note, we will leave you guys <laughs> tuned into the cast tomorrow. I think we are going to have a cast, are we? I would, I would hope so. Um, um, let's so, cast tomorrow also. We'll cast our own game. Yeah. Uh, so if there's a cast tomorrow, make sure you guys tune in. If not, watch the Source TV. Uh, thanks for watching. Lost in Translation wins 5-2 against We Love Anime. I'm Platinum with Harbor. Wait, wait, you didn't give Smacka a shout out. Smacka, Smacka you want a shout out? not going to shout out to anybody. Smacka, give a shout out. Say hi to. I don't know. Hi. There you go. All right. Thank you, Smacka. All right, guys. Uh, thanks a lot for watching. Make sure you tune in for tomorrow if we've got a cast. If not, watch the Source TV and uh, you know, support TF2 invite teams. Thanks a lot, guys.